So today we're going to work on the chromatography lab um, that you're going to do at home. So the first thing you need to do is cut three strips of paper from your coffee filter. Each one should be one inch wide and four inches long. The next thing that you're going to do is find three washable markers um, or three washable pens from your house and put a black dot a half inch from the bottom of each strip um, and then tape that to a pencil. All right. Now you may need separate glasses to do this experiment. All right. I did it with a beaker at school, um, but to get all of the papers in so that they don't touch each other, you may need to do them in separate glasses. Okay. So um, here, this is a time lapse. This took me about 12 minutes in the lab, just to give you an idea. Um, and this is your sample that you're going to compare to. Um, so this is our known um, criminal use of this marker and you need to figure out if any of the ones you have at home could possibly be the one that they used. Okay, so you can see that um, we want the paper to hang in the water, but the water shouldn't touch your dot initially. All right, it should only be drawn up through the up up onto the paper um, by the water being pulled up onto the coffee filter. Okay, so you can see my um, marker that I used, um, or that our criminal used, um, has multiple colors in it. You can see some pink and some blue um, creeping up the paper that are separating out from the marker. Um, <clears throat> and so after your um, solvent line has gotten pretty close to the top, you don't want it to touch your pencil, but you want it to be, you know, within a half inch or so of the top. Like I said, mine took about 12 minutes. Then you're going to remove it from the beaker. And you're going to um, make a mark on your paper that shows you what it what what the um, spots look like, and you're also then going to let it dry. Okay, so you can see where I did this here. I made um, a diagram, and you can see that um, I marked my solvent line, and I drew sort of where the spots were um, that I could see. So I. I think I see three different colors, um, but I may, it may just be two. It might be blue and pink with um, them kind of mixing in the middle, all right? Um, but I can then calculate an RF value for each of those things by doing um, the distance from my half inch starting point up to the center of the dot and then dividing that by the total distance that the liquid traveled. So the denominator will be the same for all of them. And then you can see that um, in the table here, I measured the solvent distance as three inches, um, and then I did the distance to each spot. And you can see that um, for the first one, I have 2.75 for the blue dot. Um, and so if I do the 2.75 divided by three, I get 0.917, and that is my RF value. So even if you had a much longer strip of coffee filter, um, even if it was like six or eight inches long, it should still travel the same distance relative to how far the liquid traveled. Um, and that's the value of the RF. So you can make a comparison even across different experiments. So now what you need to do is take your um, three different ink samples from your house, all black ink, and do this experiment and make a comparison and um, see which ink you think is most like the one um, that our criminal used.